Good evening and welcome to a very special episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. So as you can see, I am taking a break from gaming content uh, for this video uh, in celebration of Independence Day, July 4th. Uh, for those of us uh, here in the United States, uh, this is our Independence Day. And um, I, I wanted to give a special thanks uh, to those who have um, who have supported uh, freedom, whether it be U.S. citizens and and you know our continued support for the freedoms that we enjoy uh, that come from the ideas that came out of the you know the Declaration of Independence and the other founding documents of our nation, but also for those that have supported ideas of freedom uh, and independence. You know around the world so this, this is a global phenomena it's a you know it's a celebration that i think uh all um free-minded people uh should should help praise uh whether it's in our own country or in other countries so you know we should always recognize uh the independence movements of uh of various countries around the world and uh, it really is a, a big moment where we can share in, um, you know, in the principles that our Declaration of Independence speaks to. So, um, so without further ado, I'm actually going to, uh, you know, put on my, my U.S. history teacher hat, which uh, I'm now retired from, but, but still, um, I do want to jump into and take a very brief look at the Declaration of Independence and um, and just reiterate what this day really means for us here in the United States. And I'm sure very, very similar, whether you're in, you know, Canada or, you know, Mexico or Italy or, or any of those, you know, any other country, India, any country that has enjoyed uh, an independence of their own. So let's move on to the Declaration of Independence. And I will make this a little bit large. Now, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but there, there are three parts of the Declaration of Independence. There's the, the statement of the natural rights and, uh, and purpose of government, then there are the, the grievances against the English crown, um, the English crown of the time, obviously, King George III, um, plus the parliament that, that really did support him. And then finally, the actual declaration. So I'm just going to read the first section and the last section. I'm not going to get muddled down with the, the list of grievances. Just know that there were many. Um, so here we go. So the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America, when in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitled them a decent respect to the opinions of mankind acquires requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation we hold these truths to be self uh, to be self-evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by the creator with a certain and inalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, derived their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive, destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. 
Prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes, and accordingly, all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while, while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies, and such is now, just lost my spot, sorry, uh, and such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their former systems of government. The history of the present King of Great Britain is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states. To prove this, let facts be submitted to a candid world. All right, and then we get into the portion of the list of grievances, and I am going to uh, skip over that. Um, but it is a long list, and it is a list uh, in which the colonists uh, clearly state, uh, or the representatives of the colonists clearly state um, their justification. And now we get to the actual declaration. We, therefore, the representatives of the United States of America and General Congre Congress assembled, appealing to the Supreme Judge of the world for the restitute of our intentions do in the name and by the authority of the good people of these colonies solemnly publish and declare that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states that they are absolved from all allegiance to the British crown and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved and that as free and independent states, they have full power to levy war, conclude peace, contract alliances, establish commerce, and to do all other acts and things which independent states may of right do, and for the support of the Declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. And then the signatures follow. So, as you can see, there's a there's a, a guiding principle uh, to this Declaration of Independence that can apply to all free peoples of the world. Uh, and the independence movement in the United States actually became an example for many other uh, countries around the world, former colonies around the world. So. I, I rather focus time on um, talking about independence and what it means than just for it to be a celebration of a date in history. Uh, so, you know, just a reminder that um, these are people who, uh, the founding fathers, uh, these are the people who, you know, stood up, had, you know, had much to lose. Um, Obviously, uh, if they had lost the war, they would have all been hung for treason. Uh, so, uh, and, and they knew that, and they, they willingly accepted that, um, you know, that fate, uh, which is all the signatures on the Declaration of Independence. They were all signing their own death sentence, uh, should they lose. So, um, you know, they had, they had everything on the line themselves.
And so again, it's a, you know, something I want to remind us all of the importance of celebrating not just the date, but celebrating the idea of freedom that, uh, that this date represents. So once again, uh, happy Independence Day to all of our American, uh, American citizens, uh, our uh, American residents who uh, hope to one day become citizens, and, uh, and for those other uh, freedom-loving uh, neighbors and visitors that, uh, you know, that either come to the United States, uh, you know, in their visitation, or at least, uh, you know, aspire to do the same thing in their own countries, or have done the same thing in their own countries and hold to those same, uh, those same beliefs of freedom and independence from, uh, from tyrannical powers around the world. So once again, thanks for joining, uh, continue having your, uh, you know, the rest of your evening, uh, in safety and in, uh, you know, and in joy and happiness and, and, you know, revelry, uh, be careful if you're firing off fireworks, uh, make sure that you don't harm yourselves or others. Uh, and, uh, you know, as always, I look forward to seeing you on a gaming screen sometime soon. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Good evening.